Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you five ways to improve your dance flow. And I won't share five random tips. I will share five ways how to stand up sexy. Maybe you're not a beginner anymore, but it doesn't matter. This video is also for you because it is so important that we always work on our flow to improve our movements. And this is one point where it gets really interesting and really important because if you can't stand up on the pole in a nice way, then everything will be ruined. With that being said, let's get straight into the video. The first way how to get up sexy in high heels on the pole is this one. So for example, you did a spin, you laid it on the floor facing the pole and the next step is to grab the pole in a split grip and then extend your leg, push your legs away from the pole and you push with the bottom arm, pull with the top arm and now push away from you and then just let the legs come forward again and then come up and that's it. Another tip is what I automatically do when I film. I would never use the arm that's in front of my face like this way. I can do it this way but it's kind of blocking my face so I use the other arm instead. Push back don't ruin the mirror, <laughs> come forward and come up. So for example, on this side, I use my other arm. This is my right hand on top, left hand on the bottom. And now push away from the pole. And so important, please hold your toes. If you're here, that's gonna look so bad. Always point your toes, come forward. And there are also many variations of this one. For example, you do left, right, oh my god, right, left, right, left, and come up. I think exotic dancers use that a lot. So they push back and then they lift their butt up all the way. That was number one. Let's get straight into number two. This one, I really like it and I teach it all the time because it's such a nice way to stand up. Okay, so we're next to the pole. The inside arm goes on the pole. We are on our knees and now the outside leg draws a circle. And I really try to get as much momentum as possible with this leg. I grab with the outside hand on the pole and I pull myself uh, it's really important that you draw a circle with your leg, otherwise you're going to smash it to the pole. So we use our momentum and draw a circle, pull with our hands, and then we land on our high heels. In the beginning, it might look a bit different. <laughs> it might look like this, that's okay. Practice makes it perfect. The more power you have in your outside leg and swing around, the easier it will actually become. So make sure that you go for it. Don't be hesitant, just go for it. <laughs> Maybe you saw that I didn't stop as soon as my heels touched the ground again. Like here, I try to use the momentum and come up so that it looks flowy, is that the word? Flowy, flowy, yeah. It looks nicer. So when I come around, stuck, and then I come up and that makes it look really nice. And if you want to stand up sexy, that's a tip that always works. Just use your butt and come up like that in it's more like a wave. Number three is another way to get up the pole and it's the jump. This is something I still work on but it's so cool that I have to share it with you and we need a lot of strength in our quads because we jump on our high heels. We are facing the pole, we grab the pole and I suggest that the stronger arm is on top. For me that's my right arm. I pull with both arms and I push into the ground with my shins and use the momentum and jump on my high heels. Looks like this. 
and also point your toes. Don't do this and then jump from here onto the heels. They stay straight all the time. If you actually jump on your high heels in a performance, it looks really powerful and full on and badass, but still sexy. Because, for example, if you have a slow floor work part and then the beat kicks in and you jump on your high heels, oh, I love it, it's awesome. Give it a go, try it, and you can never go wrong with this one. Number four. I see this one more often these days, and i just show you how it looks like. It's this one. We're also facing the pole. We grab the pole, and then we pull ourselves up. Of course, point your toes. They always stay straight. Come up in like a wave. There are also different versions where you place your feet, for example, you can place them away from the pole and then come up, step, step in your in front of the pole again, or you place your feet in front of the pole and come up. I think I say come up all the time, I'm sorry. <laughs> Is that a different word? Stand up? Stand up. Yeah, that's probably... Oh, okay. The secret ingredient to improve your pole flow and to improve the way to stand up on the pole is definitely to make it easy. You should look like a feather. You shouldn't look like an elephant that tries to get up on his feet. <laughs> so that's the main part. And in the beginning, if you look like an elephant, don't worry. Just use those tips and just don't stop practicing. That's it. I also have another tip for you how to improve your flow and how to get up sexy. But make sure you keep on watching because it's gonna come up in just a minute. So again, you can play with the placement of your feet and how far you wanna go. Just try what works for you the best. And yeah, it's a really cool, nice and easy flowy way to stand up. Oh my god, I'm ridiculous today. So the easiest version at last, but it's also important. I show you. So when we are in front of the pole and we get up, we just stand up literally like step, step, get up. Step, step, get up. And it's not just like this and get up. If you do it, you do it with purpose, like every step is on point. Step, step, come up. It's like an attitude thing. Try it out. Try to just get up and take your time. That is, by the way, that's the tip I want to share with you. If you need to stand up during your choreography, then don't make it boring for the person that watches. Make it sexy make it so that they want to watch how you actually get up so it doesn't matter if you start with the left or the right foot but what i do is step i take my time and step maybe i use my hand and then i come up in a sexy way and again stay on the platform and then butt comes up what I do usually is that my upper body goes down a little bit so that it yeah, gives more emphasis on the butt. So come down and get up. So, for example, this way. So, right, left, and celebrate and do with a purpose. Take your time, put emphasis on. I'm standing up right now. So I step, step, and come up. Practice how to stand up sexy. It's really important to improve your pole dance flow. If you want to be average or bad, do this. If you want to be really good and sexy, do this. Make sure that your shin and your ankles are always in a straight line. Never do this. Never. Of course, there are a thousand different ways to stand up on a pole in high heels, but these were my five favorite.
favorite ones that I wanted to share with you. And yeah, if you like this video, please consider subscribing, smash the like button and leave your Instagram handle down below because I also want to stalk you, want to check you out. If you want to learn more from me, I teach online, I use Patreon, I put the link in the description box down below, so make sure you check it out. I upload blog posts, tutorials for beginners, advanced, and yeah, it's really cool. Make sure you check it out. Thank you so much for watching. It means the world to me. Thanks for everyone who subscribes to my channel and supports me in that way. And I see you in the next video. Bye.